Looking at the glass of water between these two seniors, some would say that it's half full and others half empty. Everyone has already experienced seeing the glass half empty rather than half full. That could be seen as feeling depressed, sad, lacking motivation or energy, but all of these symptoms do not necessarily lead to major depression. As we age, depressive symptoms are crucial because their presence increases the risk of declining cognitive abilities such as memory and increases the risk of developing dementia such as Alzheimer's disease. Conversely, people with Alzheimer's are more likely to develop depressive symptoms or even depression. The nature of the biological mechanisms involved in the link between depressive symptoms and Alzheimer's is still poorly defined today. Studying the early manifestations of the disease is a way to better understand these mechanisms. As such, my thesis will focus on the presence of subclinical depressive symptoms in a sample of LC seniors that are not suffering from memory impairment or depression. Two groups will be made, one that sees the glass half empty with depressive symptoms and another without symptoms. And by comparing these groups, I will assess whether depressive symptoms are linked to changes in specific markers of Alzheimer's disease, such as the structural and functional brain integrity in regions characteristic of Alzheimer's, as well as changes in the level of blood components, which are also specific to the disease or related to mood, stress and inflammation. Let us now assume that the persistent symptoms are associated with brain or blood changes. Would it be then possible to alleviate these symptoms and help these people see the glass half full rather than half empty? With this in mind, I will also assess whether a regular meditation practice could de decrease the persistent symptoms and have an effect on their potential biological links. In a nutshell, I'm studying whether seeing the glass half empty in older people is linked to biological changes that may increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and whether meditation could help these seniors see the glass half full rather than half empty. That would provide a better understanding of the factors contributing to the well-being of seniors. Thank you for your attention.